It's a wet, rainy, miserable day, and there's lightning, which means I'm not fishing. So I thought I'd work on some fishing tackle today, and instead of just doing it alone, I thought I would do it behind the camera and see, uh, see if it interests you. So what I'm going to work on right now is a finesse jig box. And for me, a finesse jig box has a lot to do with... Um, cold water fishing but since we're in May right now um, I'm not gonna throw a lot of finesse jigs currently I am going to the st. Lawrence River though for a tournament in August and I'm definitely going to be taking my finesse jigs with me there so I'm gonna be putting this box together based on smallmouth fishing and I'm also going to put some stuff in for largemouth when I get home. I'm going to attempt to put everything that I need in this 3600 series Plano Edge box. And we'll see if it all fits. Not sure if it will, but it might. So when I'm talking about a finesse jig, I'm talking about several different types of jigs. Normally, it's going to be... A ball head jig um, but also I throw uh, finesse football head jigs and I also throw some finesse hair jigs and so I'll kind of show you everything that I'm talking about and thinking about um, as I go through it okay so first off let me start with one of my favorite little finesse jigs and I think it's just because I love the look of it <laughs> which is probably not a reason to buy a jig but this is a jig that you can get at Venom Lures so this is called Ron Yurko's Little Brown Jig he also calls it his hundred thousand dollar jig and Venom Lures makes this and look how it sits on the bottom of course I've got to balance my my hand here but it sits up, my hand's not perfectly flat, it's a problem. It sits up really well. It's got hair and silicone, and it's got this, uh, this little plastic deal here. Um, it has a flat head, and it's got uh, really kind of a 90 degree line tie. The line tie is right on the bottom. And uh, this little jig uh, is just a perfect crawdad imitator. And you can pair it with, uh, he likes to pour, pair it with a pork trailer. Of course, pork trailers are hard to find now. So he created his own. Here's what uh, one of them looks like. A little chunk trailer. He's got them in green pumpkin, black, blue, and brown. And... Uh, as far as the colors of this jig go, there, there's a brown, black, green pumpkin, I believe, is are the colors that you can get. I just love this little jig. It's also got a wire weed guard on it. If I can put that there, you might can see it. And uh, it it uh, it's one of my favorite little finesse jigs. Um, you can you can do a lot with this. I've got brown, of course. The green pumpkin one. You can see what it looks like. I've got black. And most of the time I'm fishing these up uh, for smallmouth. Um, but you can fish largemouth as well. So these are some of the jigs that I'm going to put in my box first uh, because these are some of my very favorite, very favorite um, finesse jigs. They're not cheap either. Five dollars each, four ninety nine. So you can tell there's a lot to it. Okay, the next uh, go-to jig that I always put in my finesse box is this football jig from Kitech Baits, and this is uh, a tungsten football jig, and it's called the model 2 version 2 don't know why I don't know, don't know the history behind that 
but this is a little smallmouth killer for sure. It comes in uh, quite a few, uh, three different sizes as far as I know. It comes in a quarter, a three-eighths, and a half ounce size. And this is the heaviest jig that I put in my box. I do throw the half ounce, and I'll throw the others as well. But I like the half ounce for uh, strong current. It comes in a lot of different colors. It comes, uh, this is uh, brown and purple. And I'll show you what it looks like outside the package. Brown and purple. It's just a very compact, dense little head. Sharp, sticky hook. It's got a nice little weed guard, but it's not a super overpowering weed guard. Here's the black and blue version. Here's green pumpkin. They also make a black, they make a green pumpkin blue, a green pumpkin chartreuse, they make a green pumpkin black, uh, a lot of different colors, mostly all natural colors except for the black and blue. Great little jig, highly recommend it. And you can put a lot of different trailers on this, you could use those little chunk trailers. In fact, I'll go through my trailers after I go through all the jigs and just kind of show you the ones I like and what I use. The next jig that uh, is kind of my go-to finesse jig, probably more than any of these others because I fish more largemouth than any other jig and I consider those two previous jigs I showed you more of a smallmouth jig. This is my largemouth, my spotted bass jig and it also will catch smallies and it's by Jewel Baits. It's called this Pro Spider Jig. Now they used to make this in three sizes, uh, 3 16 5 16 and 7 16 but they've discontinued the 3 16 size, which is unfortunate because I'm pretty much out of those. But this is what the 3 16 ounce looks like. It is a very tiny head. One of the things I love about Jewel Baits is they put this collar on all their baits for rattles. And I really like to have rattles on my jigs, even my... Um, finesse jigs. I fish in a lot of dirtier water. Uh, the one thing I love about the Pro Spider Jig is this wire weed guard. And most people don't like a wire weed guard uh, because you are going to get more hang-ups. But I just feel like it makes for a much better hookup ratio and that's why I like it and I just say hey I'm gonna lose them. They discontinued the wire and I bought a bunch of them when I heard they were being discontinued and they went to they went to a fiber weed guard and then now I think they've gone back to the wire so I guess I didn't need to really stock up on them. But they have a really good hook. This is kind of like an O'Shaughnessy bend hook. It really sticks well. I find 90 plus percent of the time I get them right in the roof of the mouth, right where you want. Uh, it's a great little jig and uh, comes in a ton of different colors and uh, it's just one of my absolute favorites. But uh, like I said, 5 16 is the smallest size you can buy now. So I'll use the 3 and the 5 for um, when I'm finesse fishing and then I'll bump up to the 7 16 in the heat of the summer. Um, it also has a, it, it, it moves really well through rock. Let me show you. Here's a 5 16 with the fiber weed guard. And you can kind of see the head, if I don't lose focus here, the head has a, a unique shape that's kind of, kind of like a keel at the bottom of the head. And it moves through rock really well and, and just does, it, it does well in a lot of places. This is the Missouri Craw color. Let me show you a 5 16 with a wire weed guard. Here is a, I think this is called like peanut butter smoke. And I've got rattles that I've put on this one, as you can see. It doesn't come with rattles, but you can, every jig has a collar for rattles on it. Uh, really good little jig, and so a lot of different colors. Here's a um, here's one that you can tell I've used quite a bit. This is the 7 16 model, so I won't put this in my 
finesse box. You can see how much I've worn the paint off of that head of that one. Here's another one color that I really like. Just got a little red in there with a little more subtle natural colors. So those are my go-to finesse jigs, those three. But then I also, um, I have a lot of ball head jigs that I will also throw into my finesse box at times. And I got a few here that uh, I thought I'd show you that have just come out recently or they're kind of newer to me that I think are interesting looking. Okay, this is another finesse jig that looks good it's a ball head jig and a lot of finesse jigs are ball head jig it has a pretty stiff uh, weed guard this is kind of a green pumpkin with a little bit of blue in it it has one of these spiral wire keepers I do not like those and I don't know who makes this jig either by the way but that's just a typical finesse jig and since I've got it I'll throw it in my box I also like the look of this Molex Nano Jig. This is a 3 16 of an ounce finesse jig. This color is called Blue Craw, which is basically the same color that I just showed you there. It's a green pumpkin with a little bit of blue in it. Um, this is really finessey. I mean, it's, it's compact. Look at that little guy. There's something I really like about a little tiny compact finesse jig though and uh, this is a good color the nano jig from Molex never fished with it but I'm really looking forward to giving it a try and then Ketchco has a pretty cool one too a uh, good looking one it's called the tightrope and again this is a similar color green pumpkin blue let me show you that this is a ball head jig as well. It's got a little 2 aught hook on it. And I like this kind of a wire keeper much better for the trailer. Another good go-to finesse jig is made by Z-Man. It's actually a Ned jig. Uh, it's called the Shrooms Micro Finesse Jig. And uh, this is black and blue. I'll show you one out of the package. It's pretty much a, a little Ned head. But it has a pretty full skirt for such a tiny jig. And when I say tiny, I mean you can see how tiny the hook is. It's tiny. It's got a little two-wire weed guard on it. Uh probably works very well for smallmouth fishing. Um, I've got a few of these that I'm going to throw into my finesse box as well uh, just for the fun of it. I've got a black and blue. I've got uh, moccasin craw they call it which to me looks more like a Texas craw color. And uh, I've also got kind of a green pumpkin color here. In fact that's what this is. It's just green pumpkin. And, you know, this is a finesse jig. There's absolutely no doubt about it. So, I'm going to put some of those in my box. Then when you move on to uh, hair jigs, Cumberland Lures makes a hair jig that I like quite a bit. In fact, I like a lot of Cumberland Lures, Cumberland Pro Lures uh, jigs. They're just well built. The shape of the head there is different. It's kind of like a modified Arky head. Um, it's got a, a little weed guard. Um, and then it's got... Uh, this is the ticket though. It's the hair. The hair is so subtle. And uh, especially when you're smallmouth fishing... I believe in hair. I think hair is great. It's one of the reasons I really like the Ron Yurko uh, $100,000 jig because he's got regular rubber skirt here. I think it's rubber. Uh, but he's also got hair. 
and I think that combination really makes this a special jig. Uh, this is more of a stand-up jig though, although with the flat head you can skip it as well. Where something like the, uh, the head of this um, Cumberland Pro jig, it looks like you could swim this, you could flip this, you could pitch it, you could probably skip it too. It's a lot more versatile. I've got this in uh, the brown and orange, which I think is a good smallmouth color. I've also got it in white. It's got Gamagatsu hooks. And uh, I'll take this one out of the package too, just to... Look at that little guy. It's a great little hair jig. So, gotta throw some of those hair jigs in. I also um, like this hair jig. Um, this is made by Andy's Custom Lures. And uh, this black hair jig works quite well um, up on smallmouth waters. So, I'll put some of those in the box also. Okay, so let's talk about trailers for a little bit. Um, Normally, if you're throwing finesse jigs in colder water, you don't need a ton of action. And that's why I like pork trailers, but they're difficult to find. If you're fortunate enough to find something like this little pork trailer, this thing works quite well on a finesse jig. Uh, Uncle Josh used to make a bunch, and I don't know what they're making now because they kind of stopped, and then I've heard that they've come back. This one here is an old one that I you can tell by looking in the package. It looks pretty funky. But the Meat Craw, three and a half incher, is uh, also uh, a good sized uh, pork trailer. Anything bigger than, say, this three and a half inch probably doesn't make sense on a finesse jig. Here is a jumbo pork frog uh, that Uncle Josh used to make. And like I said, I don't, th I don't think they make these anymore. Um, I've got quite a few of them that I use. They wouldn't work for finesse jigs because they're too thick and beefy. That's why you need the little ones. But this is what one looks like. This is what a jumbo piece of pork looks like, though. And this thing works great uh, in the wintertime if you're using a, a little bigger jig. You could put this on a finesse jig, but if you did, I would shave some of this pork off because it's just too thick. Uh, the hooks are small. But if you have a jig that you're throwing out there and the colder temps with a little bigger, with a little bigger um, profile, these big ones are great. You also could put these on the back of a bladed jig or uh, a swim jig. All right, so that's a pork trailer, a pork-style chunk trailer. You can also buy chunk trailers from Zoom in different sizes. Here is a, a big one. Uh, obviously, you would need something smaller than this to put on a finesse jig, usually, generally speaking. All right, there's tons of other uh, options out there. This here is a Paca Craw by uh, Netbait. And it works great for a jig trailer, the pack of craw. You want like the junior size or the smaller size. I'm not sure what they call it. This here is a little rage baby craw, rage tail craw. And again, works fantastic for, for finesse jigs. Here's kind of net baits pack of chunk. You could use this size, but to me, this size is a little too big. You need the smaller size which I think they call the junior or something like that. The great thing about all the Ned Rig rage going on is that there's a lot of Ned Rig baits now, like this Ned Bug by Rage, the Rage Ned Bug, that would make a great finesse jig trailer also. And I'll take one of these out just so you can see what it looks like. That's going to make... Just an excellent finesse jig trailer. Really, really good. Uh, also, Z-Man makes a lot of a lot of products that would make a good trailer. 
This is basically a beaver style bait. They call it the TRD Bugs. That, you know, you can fish this as a Ned rig alone by itself, but it also is the perfect size as a jig trailer. And these, of course, Z Man baits, super tough, super durable. They're going to last a really long time. So that's a good option. Another TRD bait that I absolutely love is called the TRD Cross by Z-Man. And this is just makes a great jig trailer. Let me show you. This is on the Pro Spider jig, 5 16 ounce. And this is that exact craw on there. And, I mean, these little craw, claws, float, and they just really give it some nice action. It's a great trailer for your finesse jigs. Another hands down superb trailer is the Rage Baby Menace. The Baby Menace uh, is just excellent as a jig trailer. And what I would do on this is I would cut the, the body probably in about half and then put it on as a jig trailer. Fantastic. The Z-Man Goats, also they make like a Goats Junior. I don't have it handy here, but it would make a great jig trailer as well. So those are kind of some of the things to keep in mind. When you're thinking about a jig trailer, obviously you want a trailer that doesn't have a super fat, thick, beefy bo body on your hook but to interfere with your hookup ratio. And you don't want a ton of big flapping action you want subtle action. It's why the Rage Menace is so effective because the Rage Menace it has a very compact, subtle sort of action to it that just, it's fire. It really is. It, it does fantastic. In fact, of all these trailers, I think the, the Menace is my favorite trailer. But in any case, um, that gives you an idea of what you can throw together in a jig in a finesse jig box. The the options are limitless, and I guarantee you, there's tons of guys out there who say, "Well, why didn't you mention this or why didn't you mention that?" Because there's just so many options out there. You just got to find the two or three that you're really comfortable with. You got a lot of confidence in, and use those, and it's going to be great. Okay, so this is the final product of my Plano Finesse Jig Box. If I lived up north, I'm sure I'd throw a lot more Finesse Jigs than I do down here and I'd need a, a bigger box. But I think pretty much, generally speaking, this one should do me pretty well. I may uh, want to use up these trailers here. You put jigs in these two slots here and uh, and call it good. Thanks for watching today. I hope this was informative and helpful. I would love to see photos of your jig box. Why don't you send me a DM on Instagram to at Mr. Bass TV of photos of your finesse jig boxes and the finesse jigs that you like. I'd love to see them and I will try to share them. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy finesse jig fishing!